What's up you data friends, it's Yanis here and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be explaining the differences between supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning. I will also be providing some practical examples into Python just to help you gain a better understanding of what is supervised machine learning and what is unsupervised machine learning and their differences. And before we jump into this video, if you're passionate about data analytics and data science, then please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos. Right, so the main difference between supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning is that in supervised machine learning, we know our Y variable. So when we create our model, we are trying to predict a number or a class, but in unsupervised machine learning, we actually don't have a Y variable. So we are not predicting a number or a class. We are actually trying to identify groups of data with similar characteristics. So we're trying to cluster the data together. Right, going back to supervised machine learning, just to give you some examples so you can better understand this, under supervised machine learning, we have regression and classification. And the difference between regression and classification is that one of them is trying to predict a number and the other one is trying to predict a class. Starting with regression now, so imagine we have this raw data, we have the day name, the visitor, the marketing spend, the promo and the revenue. So all of this is known. These are our excess, the black ones, and the red one, which is our Y, is the revenue. So this is what we are trying to predict when we create our machine learning model. So down here in results, you can see that we found the line of best fit, so our regression using these variables. We created this function of f that predicts the revenue based on our excess, based on these variables. So for our first prediction, you can see that we predicted $480, however, the actual is $465. So this is how a regression machine learning model works. You feed it your excess and then you get a function of x which predicts your y. And just to show you a practical example here, if we go into Python, this is an example which I have also created a video for, so you can follow it. We have our raw data over here. We run our data pre-processing. We clean and evaluate our data. And then somewhere down here is when we run our linear regression. And here we have some of the evaluation metrics. Going back to classification now, you can see we have this raw data, account savings, employment history, age, job, and good loan, yes or not. So these are our excess, the black ones, and our Y, which is what we are trying to predict, is whether the loan is gonna be a good loan or not. So it's a yes or a no. So we're trying to predict a class. So we run our model down here. We create this function of f that predicts our y. And you can see for our predictions, we got the first one correct, 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 correct. But this one is wrong. So just to give you a practical example, if we go into Python, here I have a logistic regression example. So I start from data processing, I clean the data, I transform the data, and I get it ready to feed it into a data model. So down here is where we run our logistic regression, and some of the evaluation metrics is the confusion matrix, and also the sensitivity or hit rate or recall or true positive rate, the precision, the false positive rate or the false alarm rate, the false negative rate or miss rate. And also an important metric is the logarithmic loss, which is very important when it comes to supervised machine learning classification models. Another example I have, it's over here, which I am running decision trees, random forest and XGBoost machine learning models. So this is again, supervised machine learning models where we are trying to predict a class. Right, and an example of an unsupervised machine learning model, if we scroll over here, 
you can see that we have our raw data, which is age, gender, postcode, status, household income, event attendance, social media, hours willing to travel, and if they enjoy adrenaline rush activities. And you can see we actually don't have a Y. So this is survey data and there is no Y. So our aim now, when it comes to unsupervised machine learning, is to identify groups of data with similar characteristics. So we are trying to cluster the data together in order to identify groups that behave similarly. So you can see we run our model and we create these clusters where we assign a cluster into each data point. So we can see from our predictions that these two lines, for example, these two data points, they behave similarly because they both belong to cluster three. And just to show you a practical example, if we head over here into Python, I have this unsupervised machine learning example where we get this raw data. So this is again, some survey data. We fit this data into an unsupervised machine learning model. I think I've used uh, k-means clustering over here and we create these clusters, there we go, which identify groups. So they group all these data points together if they have similar characteristics or not. So you can see the yellow ones behave the same, the black ones, the red ones, the green ones, and the blue ones down here. By the way, this is PCA with two dimensions, so we can actually visualize it, and it's not representing all the data set. And if we scroll down here, I show a few methods of how we can improve our unsupervised machine learning model. Right, going back into our Excel, just a small recap now. We use supervised machine learning when we know our why, when it's known and we are trying to predict a number or a class and we use unsupervised machine learning where we don't know what we are looking for we don't have a why and we are trying to cluster the data together based on their characteristics right so i hope you've enjoyed this video and you've gained enough value out of this video if you feel like you did then please click the like button subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos thank you very much for watching this video